It's Romeo Blow Feet. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Decepticon Stinger. If you're trying to get this figure yourself, you can do it. Big, big, big. big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. This guy's not released at retail in the United States. This is a Japanese import. I'm very excited to have this figure. I really wanted it very much, even though it could be considered a cheap knockoff. Anyway, you can see Stinger right there on the side right over here and then on the back you can see both modes there's a little bio if you want to read that go ahead and pause it now and then we can see the ad22 galvatron and the ad31 armor knight optimus prime both looking really cool anyway let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's a very expensive repaint out of the packaging and the repaint is exactly what it is uh, some of these figures you know these japanese imports we get a little bit of new molding or something but nothing on here this is just an exact repaint of my age of extinction evolution two pack bumblebee which is based off of how Bumblebee looked as a 2014 concept Camaro, but uh, yeah, you know, it's a pretty cool figure. I like the figure the first time. We got a Decepticon logo right over there, and I'm really curious to see how this guy looks in his alt mode, which I haven't transformed him into yet. Now, he does have the same exact weapons as the other Bumblebee, which did come in as a deluxe class figure as well. You get these twin blades right over here, and I have these stars sculpted in there, so, you know, same exact thing that we've gotten before, and we can get Stinger or not Cliff Jumper to hold him right over there. Oh, it's definitely not Cliff Jumper, right? Cliff Jumper was an Autobot. So yeah, I was hoping for a slightly different head sculpt on this guy but no it's the same exact thing but it is repainted very well I will give him that it does look cool I especially like that neon green color right there that looks awesome so yeah it's not too bad and he does have the same face guard function which I'll leave him like this for you know what I mean I'm not gonna have his face showing but you can lift this piece up over here and then slide it back which is a little tricky and a little finicky but there it goes and you can see his bright green eyes underneath there so it looks pretty cool the paint detail came out very nice and just so you could see close up you know it's the same exact sculpt as the bumble will be for sure. Now Bumblebee does have the light piping, but Stinger obviously does not. I think for the most part the red paint came out pretty clean. There are areas where I feel like it's a little on the weak side though, like right over his crotch. Of all places, I think it's hilarious. He does have a little scuffage over there on the Wangus. So that's a little uh, a little annoying, but not the big deal. So I'm going to be staring at Stinger's Wangus. Oh, is that what he calls it? His Stinger? <laughs> I'm digging all the little sculpted detail. And on the back of the figure, there's not a whole lot to see except for some of his car bits. Collapses over there quite nicely. It doesn't look too bad. He can look up quite a bit. He doesn't really look down. His head can move side to side, and he do get a tiny bit of neck pivot in there. Not much at all. His shoulders can move outward this much, and he can rotate forward. He has an elbow bend that meets at 90 degrees, and he does have a side to side swivel right there at the elbow. Just kind of tricky to use, but it does work. He has no torso articulation, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, his hip joints move outward that much. He can kick forward very far and back. He has an upper thigh swivel, single jointed knee that bends about 90 degrees. Then he has two joints right here. He has this joint and then he has this other ankle joint that moves forward and back over here. And then no ankle pivot or toe articulation. Stinger stands a little under six inches tall. And here's Stinger next to the Deluxe Class Bumblebee, which the repaint was based off of. Then here's Stinger compared to my 2007 Transformers movie Cliff Jumper. Then here's Stinger compared to my other Age of Extinction bad guys. We have the Deluxe Class Lockdown and Voyager Class Galvatron. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Now I'm not gonna show the transformation on this guy since I've already reviewed this figure, so we take us away, Bumblebee! So here's Stinger in his alt mode and not a Pugani as he's supposed to be, but he is just the concept Camaro. So yeah, it is a bit off from the movie and it is what we expected, so it's not like it's anything new. But it is painted pretty well and it does look cool. We do get some variation of colors over here. I do like this metallic blue right there for the headlights. I think that looks pretty neat. The Decepticon logo came out looking very clean. We get this nice glossy black paint right here. There's a closer look at the metallic blue right there for the headlights. You can see the Chevy logo. Nothing going on on the rims though. I was hoping we can get some silver on the rims with this being a Japanese import from Takara And we do get clear windshields right over here throughout same thing with on the back section right there we Get this nice white stripe going right at the bottom Then on the back. There's absolutely nothing going on. Oh, that's a bit disappointing at least paint something back here, man Yeah, geez, I'm looking at the top of it. You know, it looks pretty cool So I don't know man it just depends on how hardcore you are about it I actually really wanted this figure because I do have a Bayformers Decepticon set up in the dork room now He does roll pretty well, which is a very important function especially because he has his 
blades right here attached to the bottom still, so you know, that's pretty cool. Just roll backwards and forwards, very awesome, right? Tokyo Drift, too much fun. And then here's Stinger next to Bumblebee, and it does look like they got the same treatment. And for the most part, they do look very similar, which is only disappointing because this is the Japanese import. And then here he is next to Cliff Jumper, which is oh so sad, because look at this, much older figure. You get, you know, the painted rims, you get the Chevy logo painted, nice little paint right over here. So they painted the Chevy logo right there in the back, along with the little tailpipes right here. See the size difference between these two guys right here, yeah. So they have been shrinking, which isn't news. Now it may sound like I'm extremely disappointed in this figure, but I'm not. I'm pleased to have this. I, I just feel like a sucker because I'm falling into my own fandom with this guy. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, I know it's a stupid move, I know it's an expensive repaint, but I gotta get the repaint, I have to have it, I gotta complete my Decepticons. So I had to do it, and I pulled the trigger and I got it, and I'm very pleased to have had it. So if you really want this guy, go ahead and get it. It's available at Big Bad Toy Store. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last two videos right over here. And check out a photo gallery of images over at tformers.com. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.